Hi guys and welcome to SMART, the show that investigates art. Today we're at the Glen Kern Youth Initiative and we're going to go talk to some of the group now. So let's go meet them. Today we're learning about percussion and African drumming. Hi guys! Hi! So I'm Victoria and today we're going to be talking about drumming but before we get into all that, can you tell me about the group and the activities you do here? We do a lot of programmes and youth work here with young people. We've went to Manchester, Poland, we're going to South Africa and we've done two OCNs, level two drugs and alcohol and level two self-esteem and confidence. When someone says drumming, what's the first thing that you think of? Well, whenever I hear someone talk about drumming, I usually think about flute bands, but I also think about the drummers, you know, like at a concert where they have their musicians in the background. I think of them as well. So why do you think drumming is so popular across different genres of music? I think drumming is very popular because it keeps the beat and it keeps all our musicians in time. What are you looking forward to learning the most? I'm interested to learn about the different drums they use and the different techniques. I think we should go down to the big carnival where I happen to know a percussionist who's going to teach us about African drumming. So let's go. So guys, this is Matt and he's one of the artists from the Beat Carnival. So I know you have a few questions about hand drumming. So take it away with your questions. Why is drumming involved in so many different types of music? In contemporary music, like pop music and uh, other styles, drumming is used as the rhythmic base of the song. So it gives the other musicians their timing and so they know how to play together. So it's the glue of the band that keeps everything together. Can you tell us a little bit about the drums that you play? We have lots of drums here at the beat. Mainly we use samba equipment, which is uh, the traditional carnival rhythm of Brazil. And, it, and it's a drum ensemble that features maybe several different types of uh, percussion instrument. But we also use uh, Cuban congas. We like to teach people how to play as many drums as we can. What are the different types of drums used in hand drumming? I'd say you could probably find hand drums all over the world from lots of different societies and communities. There are hundreds of different types found on the continent of Africa and then again in Central America and the Middle East. The ones we're going to use uh, later on are going to be from Cuba and they're congas. Okay girls, so that's enough questions for now. So Matt is actually going to show us a few drumming skills. So Matt, what have you got planned for us? Here we go, we're going to learn a rhythm called the Congo, uh, which is a rhythm that came, originally came from the west of Africa, came across the sea to Brazil and was developed over there by uh, members of the Nassau de Angola. So here we go, here are the instruments. These are a type of drum that has been developed maybe in the last hundred years. In your drums you have bass tones in the middle and you've got an open tone at the edge. And then a slap. You want there to be a boom, 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 back, back. Middle, middle, edge, edge, slap, slap. When you hit the drum, your fingers stick to the skin. Yeah, yeah. Everybody try that. Okay, and then go bass, 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 bass. Okay, so we're trying to use this bit of your hand here. One, two, three, four. 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 Brilliant, okay? So, what we're gonna learn is a rhythm called the Congo, okay? That has three different patterns for three different drums. So, first one is gonna be like this. We can do that, yeah? Tone, tone, slap, slap, tone, tone, slap, slap. I think you have it. 
are the drums a way of expressing a person's location or culture? Absolutely. By learning the drums of the area you're from, you're learning the culture. You know, this is like this why people from here will learn how to play the drums that are local to them. But then also people from all over the world want to play instruments from somewhere else in the world. So it's an interesting way to get to know other people's cultures by learning their music. And Next time, play it on your drum. That's what happens when I shout. I go, clave, three, four. The hardest part of playing drummings was putting all the different techniques and rhythms together. And for me, not playing the drums before it could hurt your hands to start. Favorite part about the drumming was learning how they use the drums and all the different techniques and how they mix music. What I learned about drumming was that they're from different cultures and each drum has different meanings. The hardest part for me was trying to keep it moving with everyone else when playing the drums. I learned where all the drums come from and all the different beats. My favourite part was learning new rhythms and making up a new song. My favourite part was learning how all the different rhythms came together to make a song. I would like to do it again because I like learning about different cultures and it's very fun. It's different from other instruments and like it's easier to pick up as well. Like whenever someone sets a drum in front of you, you know, just go straight in and it's I know it's good and it's easier. I would like to come back and learn more about it and get better at it. Well, that's all from us at Smart Today, but if you're interested in finding out any more information about African drumming, try search online for any classes or workshops in your local area. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, keep on investigating.